Hi guys, in this video I would be showing you how to install macOS Sierra 10.12.6, the latest version on VMware on Windows 10 using a VMware disk image. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is, you need to download and install VMware Workstation Player. If you don't have it installed already, it is a free software. The direct link for the software is in the description below. Then. Go ahead and download both macOS Sierra, VMware Disk Image, and VMware Unlocker and Tools RAR files from the links in the description below. Once downloaded, place them on your desktop. Now, go ahead and extract both the RAR files on the desktop. To do that, you need either WinRAR or 7-zip installed on your computer. Now, go into the VMware Unlocker and Tools folder, Unlocker 208 folder, right click on win-install.cmd file, click on Run as Administrator, click on Yes. What this application does is, it unlocks the option to install Mac Operating System on VMware. Now, go ahead and open VMware Player. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Select I will install the operating system later. Click on Next. Select Apple Mac OS X. And from the drop down menu, Mac OS 10.12. Click on Next. Click on Next. Select Store virtual disk as a single file. And if you want to allot more hard disk space to the virtual machine, you can go ahead and do that. Click on Next. Click on Finish. Now, go ahead and click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And if you want, you can allot more RAM to the virtual machine. 4 GB is recommended. If you want to allot more cores, to the virtual machine, you can go ahead and do that as well. Select hard disk. Click on remove. Click on add. Yes. Click on next. Select CETA recommended. Click on next. Select use an existing virtual disk. Click on next. Click on browse. Go to the desktop, select macOS 10.12.6.bmdk file, click on open, click on finish, click on ok. Now, go into the documents folder, virtual machines folder, macOS 10.12 folder and Go ahead and right click on VMware Virtual Machine Configuration file and open with Notepad. Scroll down to the bottom, put smc.version is equal to 0. Go to the file menu and click on save. Now, go ahead and click on Play Virtual Machine. You can ignore this. Close this dialog box. Once macOS Sierra operating system has loaded up, you would be greeted with this screen. Go ahead and select your country and click on continue. Select the keyboard layout and click on continue. Select don't transfer any information now, click on continue. 
click on continue click on don't use select don't sign in click on continue skip agree agree now go ahead and create a user account click on continue select the time zone click on continue I prefer to uncheck this macOS Sierra 10.12.6 has been installed. To run the macOS Sierra virtual machine in full screen mode and to improve its performance, we need to install VMware tools. To do that, go to the player, removable devices, CD, DVD, SATA, click on settings. Now check both connected and Connect at power on options. Select use ISO image file. Click on browse. Go to the VMware unlocker and tools folder. VMware tools folder. Select darwin.iso file and click on open. Click on OK. Now double click on install VMware tools. Click on continue, install, continue installation, put the user account password. Now go ahead and click on restart. Now you can run the operating system in full screen mode and you would notice that even the graphical performance and the overall responsiveness of the operating system has improved. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel to help me reach 100 subscribers. Your help would be highly appreciated. Have a great day. Bye.